Yeah, what's up everyone? Today we have this. That's right, we're taking apart a night light. This one has recently developed an issue where it will just continually go on, well, what's the word, strobe mode, where it just kind of turns on, off, on, off really fast. So no matter what I do, I even tried covering up the light sensor with a, um, what are they called? electrical tape or something like that it still didn't work it still does that so i think it's something with the circuitry inside so you heard that today we are taking it apart oh we have an interesting screw type but thank thank goodness i have my oh, i fix it um manta toolkit from ifixit.com really good um, toolkit. It contains everything you'll need to dis disassemble, fix, whatever. Really, anything. I use it to fix everything I have, um, or take it apart, or build it. I've used build many computers. Alright. Alright, we need a triangular shaped screw. This is not at least in my opinion, triangular shaped. Let's try to find the triangular shaped one. Oh, wait, hang on. Here it is. That looks triangular shaped to me. So we'll need the big screwdriver. See if this works. Oh. Okay, so these are more like the Y-shaped screws. Let me try a smaller one. This might be too big. Okay, there you go. You gotta press really hard. Not sure why. I should e I should try an even smaller one. That also doesn't look to work well. Okay, that's a lot better. That one fits the best. So I went with the smallest one. Sorry, my hand's kind of blocking away. Okay. Now it's a matter of removing the back part from the front. It's like kind of stuck over there. This front part came off that knob you used to slide left to right I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver that should do the trick yep that did it and here's the lens, sort of, for that light sensor. And here's the uh, lampshade, that's what I call it. And the entire assembly kind of ended up here. So it looks like there's more to it. There are some normal screws Phillips had in there. So which means I can probably put this one away switch over to a normal pH zero type. One there. Dump that in the parts tray. And another one right here. Okay. 
Here's a little cover that covers the LEDs on top. A bit of the circuit board where the main board or whatever has kind of chipped off. And then one more screw here. It holds it onto the back of the frame. Well, here it is. Not sure how many volts the, the LEDs use, but we can try a nine volt battery. Try powering it. There's the slider that adjusts how bright it is or how sensitive the light it is. Capacitors, uh, some, a fuse, some resistors. Ooh, a microchip. Everything's got a microchip on it now. All right, we're gonna try to power it with a nine volt battery. This one is supposedly full. Just got it. Some I bought. So I got... Definitely not that way. Or that way so nine volts might not be enough to power it or it burned it out I don't know but I'm definitely not plugging it in when it's exposed like this but yeah there it is it's a quick tear down at this it this thing only took about seven minutes so that's everything thanks for watching uh, I hope you found this slightly enjoyable, even though this was one of the more boring teardowns of this channel. It's not a repair video. When I say this, eh, I'm start, I'm, I want to start saying this at the end of all teardown videos if I remember to. It's not a repair unless I say it is one. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.